Alrighty people, it's like freaking noon o'clock on a Friday afternoon. That's right, I said noon o'clock. I super did. Not sure what's going on today. I do know I gotta work for four o'clock to midnight. And tonight I am by myself. But only from 10 till midnight. It's also flyer day today. However, I haven't gotten my flyers yet, so that's kind of crapping over the program. Jules wanted me to go meet up with her for lunch. I'm not sure if I'm gonna gonna go to, for for today's lunch. I'm not really feeling in the mood to leave the house yet. I'm just like that. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. We got uh, 12.30 on the marker here. So things may change. Things may change. You never know. So without further ado, people, welcome to my vlog. Ah, frig it. I'm gonna go get her a coffee, get myself a coffee, and uh, we'll go meet up with her for her lunch break. Apparently she's really tired. She had a hard time falling asleep last night. Uh, might have something to do with the 8 o'clock tea. I don't know, maybe. But, um, yeah. So I'm gonna run over to the Hortons, get some coffees, and then we'll, uh, We'll go over to uh, her work and meet up with her. And Oreo totally thinks he's coming with. He's super not, but he thinks he is. But he's super not. And I'm at Jules' work with the coffees. Oh, frig yeah. Let's go see if we can find her. How to know if you're in the ghetto or not. Just saying. I made it, but I decked over her tea. Yeah. It's supposed to be milk, not cream. Uh, I may have given her the shits. Ah, uh, well, more time and personal. <laughs> yup, yup. I don't want to be on the phone. No, me neither. But I start my job at in like three hours or so. Sucks. Disco ball that's going on my pants right now. Disco ball? Yeah. Well, oh, disco ball in her pants. I don't pants. know if you can see that. It's because her shirt's all like purpley and shiny and it's... Disco Shiny fire. disco ball. Oots, 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 oots. Alrighty guys, lunch is over. Jill's got to go back to work. Yep. I'm going to go over to Canadian Tire and try and find that shit that Adrian bought. That shit. Uh, you put it on rust and it turns rust into metal again. Ooh, sounds interesting. Yeah, so I want to find that stuff and use it on the Trans Am. <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna go deal with some more people. Okay, we gotta go. Bye! Alrighty, people, let's head over to Crappy Tire and see if they got what I need. Let's do this. Alrighty, we're down here at Canadian Tire. Let's go take a look and see what they got and maybe I might want it. So let's go. Holy son of a cottonmouth king, she's a hot one out today. Let me tell you a little something about that. But we got the shit we need. They even have my paint in there. The Arctic White, as uh, the door says it is. Mind you, mine's Arctic White faded, but uh, I got the crap that you put on the rust, and it apparently converts it back to metal somehow. So, um, got some paint, and I bought some new polishing compound to take that damn scratch off. So maybe we'll go home and play with the car for a bit, I don't know. We'll see, it's pretty hot out though, so. I don't know what we're gonna do, we're just gonna do her. Actually, I need to go home and eat some food. I haven't eaten yet, and I don't like doing that, because then I go to work and I kill my lunch off at like five. And then come at eight o'clock, I'm hungry again. So, maybe we'll go home, we'll eat some food, and then uh, figure out what we're gonna do. So, yeah buddy, let's do this. Alrighty, I'm home. I can hear Oreo going off in there like a fire alarm, so better go let them out and things. Alrighty, so this is what I bought. First is the rust converter. This is the stuff that Adrian used on his truck and it did a great job. Not sure how well it works, but frig it. Then I bought this Duplicolor Paint Perfect Match. It's, uh, where's the thing right here? Uh, GM Arctic White. So, yeah, GM Arctic Match. Should match up to the car, hopefully. Here's hoping. Also, they had these piggy banks, which count your money on sale for five bucks. I figured I've been collecting change lately. What a better way to collect it than with a piggy bank that'll tell you how much is in it. That's pretty awesome. All right, let's see how awesome this works. So I have a dime in there. We'll push it through and it knows it's a dime. Go for nickel. And it knows it's a nickel. Go for loony. One buck. Let's go. Oh, buddy, yeah. All right, well, I got a whole whack load of change here. I'm gonna start stoving into this guy. Let's see how much change I have. I've been starting this actually collecting change back when Redneck Nessa put out that challenge to collect change to buy something for yourself. And um, I have no idea how much change I have. So let's give her. Well, there we go, people. $36.32 in change. 
How awesome is that? And it's not even near full. This is a cool little counter guy. Works pretty good too. For five bucks? Frig yeah! Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go grab a bite to eat because I'm friggin' starved. That thing actually worked pretty good for counting my change, eh? Holy shit. I like that. Now I can tell how exactly how much coin I have in there without having to play the old counting game. And what's awesome is I can take that change to the mall, pour it into the guy, and it'll spill it all out into a gift card. So that's pretty awesome. So I bought a couple of these sandwiches the other night when I was at Sobeys. I'm gonna frig these things over. They're just uh, roast beef sandwiches. I'm gonna frig these over, watch some How I Met Your Mother, and see see what we get into. Oh, and my flyers finally arrived, people. So I'm gonna do like late night flyer run. So tonight I will do flyers when I uh, get home from work. But as for right now, I need to eat. Oh, there we go, people. Had some lunch. It was friggin' awesome. Just played a bunch of CSR racing on my phone. I'm friggin' addicted to that game, even though it's just a simple game. I'd show you guys how it looks, but uh, I just wasted all my fuel, so I gotta wait for my fuel to reload. But uh, it was sunny out earlier today, and now it's all friggin' gloomy sky. They're actually calling for thunder bangers tonight and tomorrow kind of sucks but it's the way she goes i have a puppy here he's all like i'm a puppy you a puppy what are you doing hey eh? He just wants attention, so she does. Yes, she does. Yeah. So I mentioned that summer in the park thing happening uh, on this, this weekend, eh? Well, here we go. Let me show you what's going on. Okay, so there we go. We got the uh, million dollar hole in one veterans ONR field, which is like just down from where I am at work. And they have the Coach Co trailer, the art in the park, country open singing contest, which Rex's daughter entered, and apparently she kicked ass and is going back tomorrow for round two. Way to go. Freaking proud of you, little one. Right on. Carlson Sports RV display, food and product vendors, and then at 5 p.m. they have the opening ceremonies, which is tonight. Night box, community waterfront stage, X Ambassador, community waterfront, Hay Ocean, and Metric. I don't know any of these bands. And then on the third, which is tomorrow, they have the million dollar hole one again, downtown North Bay events. Thank God I'm not working tomorrow. <laughs> and then the multicultural cricket tournament. I don't understand cricket, so that's fine. Coach Go Trailer, Art in the Park, whatever. Amelia Soccer Fields, Car and Bike Show. Um, Red Path Petting Zoo, which was kind of funny. They got, they usually have like llamas and stuff there. A bunch of inflatables for the kids. Those like inflatable bouncy castles and things. The Bike Zone. Community group tents, food and product vendors, Carlson Sports, okay, so then from 12 to 4 they have Alex the Lion from Madagascar, uh, okay, Ronald McDonald meet and greet, I hate clowns, not a big deal, Shriner Clown Unit, I hate clowns, and they also have face painting, which makes people into clowns. Did I mention I hate clowns? And then at 7 p.m. they have the Tease Group Community, Holly Cunningham, DePatty Hyatt, Dragonette, and Carly Ray Jepsen, which is the headliner, people. I don't care if you got a phone number. I don't want it, so I'll never call you. Maybe. And then on Sunday, which is free concerts day, you don't need a wristband to get in, they have all the same crap. They have the Country Open Singing Contest, the Coach Coach Trailer, all that. Um, yup. And then they have face painting, um, uh, um, is there more? Oh, huh, that's weird. Free concerts, main stage at Lee Park Sunday night, but it doesn't show any concerts on Sunday. I don't know who's playing, but okay, well, there you go. Now, I didn't buy any wristbands, so sometimes at work they give them away, but uh, honestly, I have no will to go to that. I don't even know any of these bands, and somebody said that April Wine was supposed to be there, but uh, I didn't see them in the list. Maybe they're playing Sunday night, and they just never mentioned them, I don't know. But um, that's what's happening this weekend, and that's what I'm gonna try to avoid. Frig yeah. Anyway, people, I should get my shit together get everything organized and ready for work because I'm pretty sure it's about that time so um, let's go make a lunch and we'll head out to the car and head off to work let's friggin pitter patter and have at her well looks like fun in the parks not gonna be happening in case you guys can't see it it's passing right out yup Oh well, we gotta go to work, so let's uh, pitter-patter and have at her and head off to work. Now I'm gonna rock a piss and then we're gonna go- Would you quit stepping on my foot? Friggin' puppy. Would you stop stepping on my foot? He's sort of such a bad dog, but he's a good puppy. He's just a bad dog. Alright, well let's go jump in the wet and soggy Trans Am and we'll frig off to work. And get this shift over with, come home and do flyer day. Actually, I'm gonna go to my mailbox and grab those flyers. I forgot to do that, son of a bitch. So, now can you tell it's raining out? Once it white balances? Yeah, look at that rain. 
Just piss. Good thing I didn't do any body work. It would have been a waste. But uh, I'm gonna grab the shit out of the mailbox before it gets saturated. It's supposed to be like this tomorrow too, so yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's grab my shit. Okay, this just in. That rain is freaking cold. Just thought I'd let you guys know that. You know what sucks? When you forget where you put your keys. That really sucks. But luckily for me, it's usually an easy find. Right, right here on my desk. All right, let's get out there into the wetness and jump in the car, which has a slanted roof. Which means when you open the window to have a cigarette, you get a little damp. But let's pitter patter and have at her. That was funny, dad called. He's like, it's pissing rain out. It wasn't raining here yet. Then all of a sudden it started raining here. Fun. Well, this should be a fun drive to work. Yup, pissing rain out and things. Oh, well, at least I got a good set of wipers on the car. All right, let's pitter-patter and have at her and get off to work. Bring ya! Holy shit, I can barely see out my friggin' window. This is awesome. That was sarcasm. Look at how quick it's coming down, so look at how quick it's breaking up. Hell, we might have enough water on the ground to make the grass grow so we can do a mower vlog. Why am I pointing the camera that way? For freak's sakes. The camera's got a mind of its own, people. I'm just gonna let you know. The camera's got a mind of its own. Holy crap, this is not easy to drive through. Some of these puddles are pretty deep. Luckily, these tires are designed to repel water to find pavement, so that's a bonus. Hey, look, the rain's already calming down. That's freaking insane. It's like just blasting with rain and then it just stops like 10 minutes later. Oh well, welcome to the Great White North people. North Bay, also known as the Seattle of uh, Ontario. Where one minute it's raining, the next minute it's sunny. So yeah, I got my flyers. Luckily they're dry. We'll go through those tonight when I get home from work. I was thinking at 8 o'clock of maybe going to the beer store and picking up a case get a little loopy and do another drunken uh, flyer day, you know, maybe, probably, kind of, sort of. But the problem is, is it takes a lot more than beer to get me drunk, so we might have to cheat. I do have that bottle of ice wine in the fridge. You know, it's only seven years old. Could always uncork that and hammer it down. The cops are out. Gonna have to change lanes here because, uh, Otherwise, we're going to have a problem. Oh, it looks like a tree fell down. Oh, frig. Yeah, tree fell down. Got to love that kind. Thought the cop had somebody pulled over. Nope, nope, just dealing with some loose lumber. You know, getting this firewood ready for the weekend. We'll get back over into this lane. not looking forward to tonight. At least there's three of us on till six, two of us on till 10, and then I work by myself from 10 till midnight. That's not too bad, as long as there's not a bunch of calls coming in and I can't keep up. And as long as I don't have to fix anybody else's screw ups, because I'm sick and tired of doing that. That sucks, did you see that guys? Buddy's got a convertible and it's pissing rain out. Yeah, great car choice, bud. Really, really great car choice. <laughs> Douche. Oh, well, so is she goes. That's a nice challenger coming up. Look at that thing. It's all pink. Well, I see, I see a Camaro over there. And you guys probably can't see it because from the uh, shake of my engine, the raw fierceness of my 305. So yeah, you're probably saying, Adam, why are you bothering to get uh, to fix up the rust spots on your car when you're just going to get Jules dad to spray your car soon anyway? Well, I don't know when I'm going to get him to spray it. The G6 has to be mobile because he's going to need the, this car for like a week or two to uh, get it all ready because he's a busy guy to begin with. So, you know, this is like a side project, a cheaper side project than bringing it to the body shop and getting it done in five days. So it's one of those, here's the car, trying to have it done before the snow hits. Because once the snow falls, this car doesn't go back on the road. Something I'm going to need to get done to this car in the very near future, well not in the very near future, but one day. I got a light exhaust leak at the Y pipe where the two, uh, where the two headers connect to become one. And there's a slight leak there. And it causes, uh, 
this this like night rider ticking sound as I as I accelerate. And I thought it was uh, I thought it was valve chatter, but uh, my buddy Mitch showed me that it's an exhaust leak because he knew right away the moment it was going. He's like, you know, dude, that's exhaust leak. I'm like, really? I thought it was valve chatter. He goes, no, look. <laughs> and he showed me. I'm like, oh. So I'm probably gonna have to bring this car into the exhaust shop where I had the muffler installed and have them patch the Y pipe or put a new one in or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's a small little exhaust leak in here when I'm accelerating. So not a big deal. Not a big deal. More of a nuisance than anything. You know, I thought this rain was gonna help cool the planet down. Obviously not. You know, that was funny, Dad calls me, well, he calls me to tell me to text him because he, they gave him a new loaner phone. What happened was he was doing a firmware update from the Sony software on his phone to give himself 4.2.3 or 2.2 or whatever the hell the new Android is. And as he was doing the update, he wasn't paying attention and he opened his keyboard tray and knocked his phone off his desk and the wire got disconnected mid firmware update. And now all his phone says, like he turns it on, and it says, Sony, please seek technical help. And I'm like, well, all Sonys do that, Dad. That's their, their greeting. Like, you know, sorry you bought a Sony. Please seek technical help. Like, go buy a Samsung, you know? What I don't understand is why the frig did he have to tether it? Like, even my my shitty little freaking phone that I have at home, the uh, piece of shit LG Optimus Black, I updated that thing the 4.0.3 over the air. So I'm not sure why he needed to, uh, I had to plug it in obviously, because it wouldn't do it on battery, but um, I don't understand why he needed to uh, friggin' plug his phone in and do the update. Because last time I checked, Android 2.3 or higher has the ability for OTR or OTA updates over the record, OTR. <laughs> But whatever, that's what happened, and he blew up his phone, so he brought it into uh, Rogers, and Rogers is like, they had to send it off and stuff, and he got a loaner phone. Now he's got a BlackBerry Q10 loaner phone, and he misses his phone, like he lost all of his contacts and shit, and just cocked over his program big times. So. But he'll figure it out. He always does. He will be without that phone probably for around five, ten days, maybe, at the most. You'll have it back before they head off to the campgrounds next weekend. I'm just anxious to get my G6 fixed. And I'll go down, visit Bloke, and party it up. It's gonna be awesome. I'm so anxious for that. I need my vacation time. I'm starting to get kind of freaking wigged out, you know? All work, no play makes Adam something something. Go crazy, don't mind if I do. Blah, 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 blah. ATM man, gee, wonder what his job is. Ass to mouth? Probably. He's managerial, ATM. Yeah, every year for this Heritage Festival shit, they always pick a, pick a weekend, well they pick a long weekend. And so far, three years in a row, it's piss poured rain. So, that's awesome. We're at work now. Obviously there was no structure to the talk on the drive except for God's cell phone. But that's the way she goes sometimes. I'm gonna park it beside this big truck. Skeetle douche. Alrighty, so we are at work and it stopped raining. Frig yeah, love that kind. So there we go. I'll talk to you guys on my next break. So until then people, peace the frig out. Oh, it's 5.30 break time and the winds of shit be blowing, people. The winds of shit. It's not a busy night tonight. Everybody's probably down at the festival grounds or doing other festivals that are in their cities and stuff. So this weekend, chances are it's going to be a really easy weekend for the boys, which is a bonus because I think they're short-staffed all weekend. Gasoline is still looking pretty leet. Yup. So that's bonus. Not really, but kind of sort of. Maybe the gas prices will drop after the long weekend. I got a full tank and both the G6 and the Trans Am, not too worried. So I'm thinking if tomorrow's nice, I might try and tackle a little bit of body work on the Trans Am, get her cleaned up a little bit, and I might cover up some rust spots on the G6. I'll worry about painting it when I get it back. Apparently that rust shit I bought is a primer and a rust uh, 
treatment thing in one can, so that's kind of cool. Maybe if I had that shit when I did the Ford, I wouldn't have had the problems of having to do body work every year, because all I did was sanded it down to bare metal, primed it, painted it. Yup. Definitely a storm brewing in the air, people. The winds of shit are blowing like crazy right now. And there's a train over there just making a ruckus. Where'd he go? There was a train over there. Okay, how the hell did a ghost train on me? Where did it go? I totally just saw it. Freaking ghost train, people. Ghost train. Yesterday they were just calling for light rain for tomorrow, now they're calling for thunderbangers. Son of a bitch, eh? Son of a bitch indeed. Carly Rae Jepsen might get rained out. Sad story. People keep telling me they want a new intro out of me. I don't know why. Nothing wrong with current intro, I don't think. It's quick, to the point. Let you know you're watching my show. Roll with it. Also fits my current roll with it attitude. You know what I'm saying? Probably not, but you should. Maybe, probably. So for anybody out there who has an iPhone or an Android phone or something that can play Shazam, if you're wondering if your video has copyright music, all you need to do is play the clip with said copyright music, run Shazam, and if Shazam can detect it, Google definitely can. Just a tip for you. Oh, for freak's sakes, it's starting to piss rain again. Son of a bitch. Yup, got droplets on the friggin' lens. Look, you can tell. You can tell. Right, right here, you can tell. I'm pointing it out. Right here. Now you're gonna stare at that forever. Well, I have a feeling tomorrow my parents won't be going to the fairgrounds if it's pissing rain and shitty weather. Just saying. Yup. Ah, oh, well, maybe this will give me enough time to get some must needed housework done. Just saying again, you know, because I say that a lot. But I do kind of want to play with the bodywork stuff on the Trans Am and clean up that rust patch on the side. Maybe even turn on my hose and give her a good bath. See what's rust and what's dirt, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Friggin' right. Well, I'm going to head back inside before this turns into a torrential downpour and I get soaked. So uh, until my next break, if it's not pissing, peace the frig out. Oh, for frig's sakes, it smells like fish and chips out here. Minus the chips, it smells stinky as frig. Anyway, people, once again, it's piss pouring rain, but I have a plan. I'm heading off to the liquor store because I want some friggin' liquor because I want to friggin' get drunk tonight and do flyer day. But there might be a little bit of a cash to flyer day. Yup, we might have guests. Yeah, we're just gonna roll off to the beer store here, grab a case of friggin' of Molson, maybe. Maybe a case of Molson. And then we'll head her back to the house. Or back to work, I should say. Because uh, we can't really go to the house, so we gotta do our job. But there's gonna be a little change in the flyer day program for this evening, people. Yup, a dup. You expect it. So I'm gonna be grabbing some different kind of beer. It's gonna be uh, Fax 10. Apparently it's some 10% beer. That'll knock my ass on my ass. Tastes like beer, goes down like beer, but it has the uh, potency of wine. So, frig yeah, love that kind. All right, I'll check back in later. Alrighty, well, seeing how it's a long weekend and things, I just came out of the beer store, bought myself a 15 pack of Canadian, and three cans of some strong beer called Fax 10. Apparently this shit will make hair grow on somebody else after you drink it. So this is gonna be pretty awesome. Um, went over to the uh, grocery store there. I wanted to buy these things. Jules had them at her house the one time when I was over there and they're called plantains, but they're already like dried out and seasoned. They taste like potato chips, but they're like 7,000 times better for you. Uh oh, oh, I just farted. But uh, anyway, people, I don't even know what time it is right now. It's probably like, oh shit, we gotta go. It's late. It's freaking almost 8.30. I gotta be back at work. Let's rock and roll. Oh, for freak's sakes, I'm back at work, people. Yep. These are those uh, plantain things I was talking about, and uh, they're not too bad if I could, you know, flatten shit out and stuff. But they have 440 calories per bag, 25 grams of fat, no trans, a lot of sodium, a lot of carbs, not much protein. Okay, so they kind of suck for you, but still. It's better than frigging over a bag of potato chips, right? That's what I thought. So I bumped into my buddy Pierre at the grocery store. He's on the hunt for a muscle car because I got my, my Trans Am. Joe's got his uh, Mustang and he's used to have a Fire or Thunderbird, but the Thunderbird's dead. So he had a 90, well, he's been through many Thunderbirds. He had a 76, a 78, an 82, an 89, a 96. So he loved his Thunderbirds. But you know what the problem is, is he drives them all year round and they're no good up here in the Canadian winters and they put the salt on the ground because it will rot your friggin' shit right out. Holy, am I ever getting gray. Oh, this is thin. I'm turning into an old man. Right on. Well, he went to Toronto to get a Thunderbird and he uh, test drove it. it was a, this is the thing. It's a turbo chicken with, uh, well, originally it had the 2.3 liter turbo and Buddy ripped the turbo out of it and put a 5.8 liter Ford some big ass engine in it that puts over like 500 ponies to the pavement. Uh, yeah. 
buddy wanted 10 grand for this car. Apparently it was in mint shape and it was just beautiful, but yeah, it was super expensive. So, and he's now he's looking at some Jaguars. He, he found a, uh, a four liter V8 and some other ones here in town. And he's looking at those, but he really wants to get himself a muscle car so he can come cruising with me and Joe again. Even though Joe and I haven't been cruising ever. And I still have yet to see his Mustang on the streets. All I've been seeing is, is a Saturn. So I don't even know if he's taking that thing out of the garage yet. Oh, there's like a huge raindrop there. Yep, I would clean the lens, but I am beyond lazy. But uh, there's been thunder bangers. It's currently pissing rain. So anyway, people, I think I'm gonna head her inside. I know one car Pierre would love to buy is right there. Yep, my Firebird, or a Firebird. He's always loved the Firebirds. But um, yeah, anyway, this camera's getting soaked. I'm getting soaked. I'm gonna head her inside and carry on with this night, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace of the frig out. Oh, hey there, people. It's 10 o'clock break time, and it's friggin' pissing rain out. Look, you can tell. And there is something going on at the waterfront right now. I don't know who's playing right now. Somebody's giving her down there, so that's friggin' right on. Well, I'm all alone at work now. Co-worker got out of 10, and I'm working right till midnight by myself. I'll be myself. Surprised they're bothering to do concerts in the rain. I guess everybody's got umbrellas down there or some shit. Who knows? Well, when I get out of here at midnight, Jesus Christ. That was pretty decent. But when I get out of here at midnight, um, I plan on going over to, uh, going home, gonna let the dog out, then grabbing flyers. But I'm not gonna be doing flyer day at my house, people. That's right, we're gonna head over to Jules. We're gonna, really? We're gonna do like a dual flyer day thing. That's right, team effort flyer day. It's gonna be awesome. So I probably won't be on the liquor for that because I still gotta drive home afterwards, but I do have some liquor at the house so I can get drunk while I edit this some bitch up. So that's a bonus. And with the long weekend here, I got shit to do tomorrow so I can get hammered. Actually, uh, her, her daughter was asking me if I was going over there to play tomorrow. Go over to play. So I'm probably going over there to play. Uh, we might go to Thompson Park, which is far away from the waterfront, which would be a lot better because the last place you want to be is the waterfront, just saying. Unless, of course, you have a wristband. I don't have one. So the last place I want to be is the waterfront. Good thing this camera is somewhat water resistant, but not really, but kind of sort of, because right now she's soaked. I can really hear that music. I don't know what the hell it is, but it sounds ridiculous. But tomorrow her kids want me to go over to play, so I gotta, you know, stay somewhat respectable. So tomorrow I'm not really all friggin' hungover and stuff, and then go over there and play. Yeah. So this weekend's vlog should be kind of interesting. But they're calling for Thunderbangers tomorrow, so I don't know if we're gonna go to the park. Maybe on Sunday when it's nice out. Who knows? Who knows? So she's thundercracking out right now, pretty good. Yup. Just friggin' pounding in the sky. So I saw this ridiculous thing on Facebook, right? Apparently that Sharknado movie did so well. I, don't, I hope it's a hoax. They wanna make shark a -lanche. Sharks in frozen snow in an avalanche. Really? Are you friggin' serious? This kinda pisses me off, cause I came up with a great idea for a movie called Shads. And I pitched it to the Canadian Film Guild and they shot me down and said it was a stupid idea. But now I'm thinking, you know, I'm getting pretty good with video editing and I'm gonna start learning 3D stuff. And I was actually thinking about making my own friggin' movie, you know? I'll, I'll put a full-length movie up on Vlog and Life and maybe get some of my friends to act in it and stuff and, and make shads. Make it happen. Do it like a, a freaking YouTube movie or something. That was a good flash. That's gonna sound loud probably. But um, of course you guys can't see the lightning because I got a white backdrop behind me. Uh, the wall. The vlog and wall. The vlog and wall. That's not a bad rumble. But uh, I'm thinking I might make shads, the movie, and put it on YouTube. Friggit. Won't look as pro as, say, you know, a real movie done in Hollywood, but that might make it awesomer as frig. Who knows? And I'm pretty good with special effects. I just don't do any on the vlogs because I try to keep it as real as possible. But I'm pretty good with special effects. I can, like, blow up my head and stuff, you know, stuff like that, but I don't. But I could. Freaking camera's trying to Sony and focus on the water droplet on the lens. Gotta love that kind. But uh, I'm honestly thinking I might produce that. I'm gonna talk to some people and see if we can do it. And we'll make it a YouTube film. Frig it. But anyway, you guys are soaked. Well, the camera is anyway. I'm gonna head her back inside and carry on with the ship. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace the frig out. Oh, thank God. That last two hours of that shift dragged on. Son of a bitch. But uh, anyway, people. We're done for the night, and the weekend is here. So let's get the frig out of here, go home, get flyers, go over to Jules and rock some flyer day, people. It's gonna be awesome. Let's do this. Alrighty, people, we got the uh, flyers there. Just let the dog out. Let's head over to Jules and do some flyer day and freaking hang out for a bit and start this weekend off. Frig yeah. All right, guys, I'm here at Jules' house. It's and... too late. You always say it's too early. <laughs> This one's been up, this one's been up for a while. 
Yeah. It's a bunny. bunny. Yeah, I keep forgetting you have a bunny. Good. Right. There's but, strange uh, noises in this house. Anyway, people, <laughs> it's right now time for... Flyer Day, Flyer Day, gotta look at sales on Flyer Day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer Day, Flyer Day, gotta look at sales on Flyer Day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer Day, Flyer Day, yeah. Flyer Day, Flyer Day, yeah. All the sales, all the sales, so much sales, love the sales. That's right, people. Let's get these friggin' flyers done, did, and done. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, let's start off with Canadian Tire. Yeah, yeah. The great Canadian Flyer. A. Eh? Oh, 50% off for a hedge trimmer. Oh, yeah. Oh, if I had pillows, I'd need one of these, but I don't have pillows. This looks like a lot of fun. Swimming pool looks nicer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, swimming pools. Barbecue, pots and pans, computer chair. What the frig? <laughs> they totally pitched a tent in this flyer. <laughs> yup, yup. Oh, no, those are those are for pain. Oh my god, let's go for a bike ride. <laughs> oh, those are expensive. Oh, pew 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 pew. Oh, sweet, you can stroke your wood on the green. Hey, isn't this a lot like your fire pit? Maybe? No, but there was one in one of the other fires that looked around a while like that. Oh. Sorry, but you need oh. that one too. Oh, something I definitely need for at work. Yup. Only at Canadian Tire can you buy your puppy milk bones. Yep. Oh my god, I bet you that food gives your dog the shits. This is the kind of food you give your cat if you want it to develop a urinary tract infection. Yep. Oh, 2CV bloke. This one's for you. Look at all the pushy suckies. So many pushy suckies. Any good deals? What do we got here? $79 for the shark. $99 for the professional steam pocket mop. Did I read that right? Yeah, I did. Steam pocket mop. Oh, 200 bucks for the shark commercial. The shark commercial upright. Ew. Check it out, people, my biggest fans. Nah, you see what I did there? There's my littlest fan. In it's red, red, blue, or green. Mmm. Good choice. You can coordinate and, and, and accessorize your fans. Oh, it's my mirror. And it's on sale for $69.99. Yay, it's my struts, but I bought the quick version. Holy crap, tires. I was thinking about maybe getting these brake pads for the G6, maybe, because they got this like 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 symbol on them all engraved in, and they look awesome. That and the uh, buy one get the second free is kind of kind of sexy. Just saying. Hey, Dad, I want go buy for Christmas. Okay, thanks. Bye. Julie's favorite store in the world. It's Red Basics. Green store. Always more goodness. True store. Six for a buck. Six for a buck. Julie can't have this. Mm. But I'll make it for you. Mm. Five nine 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 nine, five eighty eight ribs. That's pretty good. That's really good. I'd have to buy two boxes to feed my kids. Ah. Oh no, I don't know what to do. Quentin would be so happy. Two for three bucks. Oh, a score. Oh, right on. All right. <coughs> this is the stuff that's gonna make Adam make a lot of noise at night. Two ninety nine. That's pretty good. Yep. Good deal. Shopee. Two ninety nine. Now, if I had a dishwasher, oh, it's up there. If I had a dishwasher, I would so get this, but I don't. Well, you could I get kids. the sponge towels too if you had a dishwasher. Just sponge towels. Sponge, oh, towels. sponge towels for your pants. That's a good deal. <laughs> That's a really good deal. Two ninety nine for a big hundred box. That my kids have that done in a week. <laughs> it's all messed up. There we go. Two for five bucks. What is it? Oh, it's ham steaks. I you can have that with some chicken strips and the stuff that your mom got you. This stuff right here. Yes. Okay. Yeah, those are good in the garden. Ooh. Mats Kumara. I bought one of those. Mats, Mats, Mats. Two ninety nine. That's not a bad deal either. It's and two fridge. for five bucks. That's an even better deal. That's oh. Good deal. Ooh, lunches are coming up. Five for a buck. Ooh, that's a good score. That's <gasps> a really good score. Fruit cups. Fruit cups, fruit cups, fruit cups. Way to go, Mom. Way to go, fruit cups. Look, kids, Mom can buy the good bread. It's on sale. Alrighty, people, let's move along to Future Shop. Exciting stuff. Touchscreen laptops starting at three ninety nine ninety nine, and I guarantee you they're crap. Who was this? Pretty. Oh, 
Here's your 399 friggin' touchscreen laptop with the Pentium processor that nobody knows about. Yeah, doesn't that look elite? That looks amazing. By Dell. This is like, like, like Dell's crap version of a laptop. Yep. This is actually a really sweet Android tablet. The Acer Iconia tablet with the MTK quad-core processor, 16 gigs of son of a bitch, and Android 4.2 jelly bean. It's very pretty. Ah, Ultrabook that's really friggin' expensive, but it's a mobile quad-core. Pretty. Oh, it's the router that doubles up as a friggin' coffee warmer. Nice! Not really. Well, holy crap. They sell Chromebooks over at Frickin' Future Shop now. Ain't that pretty. Dad, go buy now. You do. You need laptop? This is good laptop. Go buy now. Did you buy it yet? 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 Go buy it. Oh, looks like they got the old friggin' Nexus on sale, eh? Yeah, it's because the new one just came out and it's perp tight. Jules thinks this person's hot. I, however, like the monitor. That's a good deal for that monitor. Yup. Yup. Kinda sorta want it. Do you come with it? Oh, I should get those when I'm editing videos so I can't hear Oreo bark when he has to go poopy. Then you have to clean up poopy. Oh, yeah, true. I should avoid these. Oh, I so want one of these. Oh, wait, I got one already. Yep. I know it's pink, but they sell it in black. And this, guys, is the vlogging camera of the century. Do what? I need those because they're red. I lied. Why do you got to be so expensive? I kind of want that. I really kind of sort of want that, but not for 300 bucks. Did you see this? We got fresh. Cool. Fresh. Dot. Cool. Dot. And Jeeper. Two dollar sale. Woohoo. I like two dollar sale. Two dollars for Pepsi? Two dollar Pepsi. <laughs> yes, I do, did. Two dollar. Two dollar. <laughs> I farted. <laughs> Maybe if the kids are good, you can get them some Sundays. Two bucks, two bucks, two bucks. Even if they're bad, because I kind of like that kind too. Okay, well, if the kids are <laughs> but bad... But you guys didn't hear that. Yeah. If the kids are bad, Adam's going to eat all your ice cream. Two dollars, two dollar sale, two dollar sale, two dollar sale, two dollar sale, two dollar sale. Wow! Look at that. It's crazy. These are good. Kids love it. Chopped ham. We make it with cheese and some veggies and some fruit. Two things Julie can't have in one page, but they're two bucks. They're two bucks. Be happy. Very very happy, Quentin. Chocolate. Fear paws. The only paw that would slap you back. Adam wants this. Twizzlers. Both. Oh, both. <laughs> both. Both. But they're two bucks. They're two bucks. Mm. They're two bucks. Two bucks. Two bucks. Candies. 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 I'm gonna spend a lot of money tomorrow. Mm. Crap. Yes, this is good. What? The bistro, sauce? no, no, the Bistro Express. Uh -huh. Those are good. You just throw it in the oven, or not the oven, the microwave, for two minutes, two bucks, two minutes, two bucks, two minutes. Uh, yeah, and you get rice. I need two packages to feed the kids. Look, Adam, you can get some tea that's peppermint for your belly aches. I like that kind. It's good, and that's good kind too. Tetley? Tetley is a good kind. 20 in the bag, 20! That's for ten, 20 tummy aches, okay? Yay. Two for two bucks. The that's theme of this flyer is two. Stupid price. Two for two bucks. Two for two bucks. That's not bad. It's a buck eight piece. They're normally like five bucks a bottle. Mm hmm. That's crazy stuff. That's what I'm it's buying. It's like what you, you made the other day. It's like those flavor pouches, but they don't look like they have flavor on them. No. But they're two bucks. Duck! Tortillas! Oh, that's all I heard. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> you put cheese on that. That's what's going to make Adam do. Uh, do. You can get more carrots for your lunches. And for Two Oreo. Bucks. And for Oreo, you put them in the in the ice cube tray and freeze them with ice cubes for a, hot, a nice summer treat. More things Julie can't eat. Cheese with holes. Swissies. Oh, it's, it's Canadian sliced cheese. It's not oh. called Swiss cheese, seriously? Oh, no, look at it. Canadian Swiss. Yeah, yeah. Eh? That that's kind of mixed up, you know. Swiss Canada, way. Canada and Swiss. Yeah. Is that is right. that what happens when Canadians and the Swiss get together? We make Swiss cheese. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Chocolate milk. <gasps> Two bucks. Yeah, no, right. it's not really a deal. No. no. It's really really good deal when you get it for ninety nine cents. All right, people. Let's look at the source, cause I want that. But do I? 
probably. Oh, here's another creme de la creme laptop. That'd be good for doing, you know, nothing. Yup, yup. And this is what I think of that laptop. Yep, that's what I what think of it. What did you eat tonight? Oh, a lot of bad things. Well, that's a pretty good deal for a laptop, or a laptop, a tablet. That's better. Way you go, Adam. Yay! Uh, the Ace Iconia 7.9 inch. Are you both 80 bucks? If yes, I'm going to buy 15 of these tomorrow. Just saying. Oh, the Justin Bieber Ultra Power Case for your iPad. It's the smexiest phone out there. And I have one on my hip. It's a super phone, people. See, they say so. The Nexus 4 super phone. It's super. I wonder if these are actually awesome sound, you know? I, I wonder, just because they got that stupid beat symbol on them. You know, like, really? Really? Uh, uh. Oh my god, walkie talkies, you can walk and talk. Wait, we got Boxer. Um, the 330 is only five bucks more. Just saying. For anybody out there wanting a camera that will never focus, the source has your back. Oh my god, it's head rush. Speaking of head rushes, that was nothing. <laughs> For anybody looking to do moto vlogs, you might have an option here. Just saying. Giant tiger. Tiger. Proudly Canadian. We'll beat anyone. Woohoo! With a bat. All right, Adam, I think we're going to have to do a nacho challenge. It's a pretty good deal. Mm, nachos. Nachos with salsa and sausage and green peppers. Nescafe. This is what makes Adam go-go in the morning. Yeah. Wake me up before you go-go. Not a good deal at all. Not at all. But you can go poke up, poke, poke, poke. Ooh, nobody steal me like charms. <laughs> Seven seven ninety two. I'm reading my numbers backwards. Two ninety seven. Dyslexia. Too tired to focus. Oh no. Claw back. Save on these items until September. Rawr. They're really crappy items. Oh maybe. <gasps> Chocolate. All right, people. Last but not least, we're gonna finish off with staples, cause that was easy. Canada's. Back to school. It's Pete's. Oh my god, it's already back to school. No, I don't want to go back. Oh, I don't have to go back to school. Yay. <laughs> but if I did have to go back to school, I would totally want to rock a backpack in plaid. Oh, Staples has the new Nexus 7. Go, go, Staples. Oh, a portable 500 gig son of a bitch for 50 bucks. Well, 45 bucks. That's pretty good. I want the red one. I really love the look of the new Samsung Galaxy Tab line. Why? Because it looks like my phone. Got another Chromebook here by Samsung. Go, go, Chromebook. Holy crap, people. 150 bucks off a MacBook? Go buy 20 of them. You'll never get a deal like that. Oh, I need that. Because it's back illuminated wireless K800 and it's so pretty. Oh, a THX certified speaker system. Yeah. I want to get one of those for my computer at work. Because it's pretty. And that's all we got for Flyer Day, people. So Jules and I are going to go smoke cigarettes and hang out for a bit. And we'll talk to you later. Bye! All right, guys. It's freaking late. Yeah, still over here at Jules. There she is. Still here. I think we're going to shut the vlog down, call her quits, and get it all edited up and fired up to the tubes of you. Mm -hmm. So if you like today's video, you know what to do. Go ahead and click that like button. It lets me know you like the video and I like that. If you have any questions, comments, <laughs> concerns, you know where to put them. Down in the comment section. <laughs> And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.